It was one of the most marginal constituency results in the 2017 general election here in Richmond Park, as Liberal Democrats candidate Sarah Olney lost out by just 45 votes to Conservative MP Zach Goldsmith. But ahead of next month's crucial Brexit election, Mrs Olney still believes she's a better candidate than the current Tory MP. Well, I'm certainly I'm a much closer, I think, to the mood of most of the local residents, as far as Brexit is concerned, than Zach Goldsmith is. Um, I think I've got, um, as, you know, as a member of the Liberal Democrats, I think we're the party at the moment that really represents the kind of the moderate, the centre, the pragmatic, and actually the only party, as far as I can see, that actually really wants to put the best interests of this country first. Despite its scenic green grass, there will be no Green Party standing in Richmond Park following the Lib Dems, Greens and Plaid Cymru's Unite to Remain Pact, which is of national importance to Mrs Olney. It sends a very, very clear signal that uh, we are putting party politics aside, that we are serious about Remain, that the Greens are serious, that Plaid are serious, um, and that, for me, it's so important about the message that that sends, that, that that for us is absolutely central, absolutely critical. And what about the Lib Dems' pledge to revoke Article 50, which has come under recent anti-democratic criticism? Our manifesto is quite clear. It says that we will revoke Article 50. If we win a majority, that is what we will do. However, if we don't win a majority, um, and I am prepared to say I think that's a more likely outcome, uh, then we will certainly work with whoever else in Parliament is committed to getting a second referendum, because that, yeah. that remains our goal.